What did you do to not be so freaked out? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I ate. Oh. <laughs> I ate! You understand that only taking risk will give you results. You have to make him think it's intentional. Ну ладно, давай, I'll see you soon. Bye, see you soon. See you soon. Ratted vehicular limbo. Whoa. All right, what's up, amazing ballroom dancers? Wait, wait, wait. Check, check. <laughs> Alexei is here, and welcome back to Ballroom with Alexei. Yo. <laughs> All right, guys, so today is February 8, 2020. It is uh, 11, no, it's 12. Oh, shoot, 1230, okay. So I have to be at one o'clock at Orange County School of Arts where we're going to have our winter showcase, okay? So let's go, I have all of my car full of costumes. This is what usually happens when you have some kind of performance um, all right okay so I have a lot of interesting things which I want to talk about and I think one of the most important thing which I want to discuss is actually um, I want to talk about how to deal with the stress before the performance so if you never stress before performance this video is not for you you can stop it and I will see you next time. But if you stressing out and you're wondering how, how, why is this happening to me? Yes, we'll try to figure out some ideas and we'll try to find some solutions, okay? All right. All right, well, I'm already here on stage we're gonna have a dress rehearsal by the way if you don't know what the showcase is is basically yearly we're doing it twice a year uh, so twice a year performance kind of like a recital for our students and most of the students gonna do it for the first time so usually we're doing this in some kind of uh, theaters this time it's the Orange County School of Arts theater yay the next thing holding the ending poses so you want to make sure you hold the fades are pretty slow so you have to hold it until it's complete blackout so hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't talk to the teacher to tell you how amazing you did. Don't do anything. Don't move. Yeah, just wait until oh, it's blacked sure. out. <laughs> Including that. <laughs> um. It's a third hour already. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you're looking fantastic. Thank Love you. it. Okay, well, so many things. Oh, my goodness. Fun. Here you are again. Hello. Okay. All right. I have the best setup right here. Check this out. This is my tripod, my coffee, my notes, um, something for music, and I'm here. All right. So um, we have like two hours before the performance. Students right now doing their makeup, their hair, and I decided to take my time and actually. Uh, talk about the stress how to deal with this is it okay to be stressed and well stuff like that <laughs> I am right now a little stressed I don't want anyone to hear me okay I think I'm fine um, so yes of course the most important part this is not even questionable you have to be prepared you have to be fully ready you have to be on top of your routine you have to be physically and mentally ready for the event we're not really gonna go into the details what it takes to be fully prepared it's a completely separate topic but I do have a really cool video which is called take full 
responsibilities. I think it's called take 100% responsibilities for your dancing. That's what it means. So go check this video out. I'm like so positive that your teacher will be very, very grateful if you will watch it and apply those tips. But, okay, let's say we are already here. We are, the performance gonna be today, okay? And you, stressed. <laughs> so, well, of course you will be stressed. Of course there will be some nervous. Of course there will be butterflies. Because this event is... Mm, what is it? It's it's something important. It's not that you don't care. Like, you care about it. You want to do your best. Of course you're going to be stressed. And do not even expect to not be worried, okay? Um, Yes, just yeah. So your body is natural respond is to put you back home, put you back at the safe place. It's it's not in your comfort zone right now, right here. Yes. Yeah? So you want to go back. You want to sit down. You want to try to avoid this performance. Uh, but you know, you know that the reason you're doing this performance is. Uh, because you want to grow, because you want to improve, because this is a stepping stone toward your development, toward becoming a better dancer. You understand that only taking risk will give you results. Being stressed during, uh, before the performance is like a huge part of the experience. You do not want to avoid it, you do not want to wish it not happen. So it's, it's there, it's part of it, okay? Our goal is to become aware of it, right? So it's to notice it instead of try to switch it off. When you're noticing it, when you're aware of it, only after you can manage it. And with the managing, this stress or this nervousness will transform into excitement. All right, I feel like I want to move to a different place. Let's change the location. Here we go. Shane, hello. Hello. Want me to video? <laughs> no, I want to video you. Oh, I'm I have sorry. a question for you. <laughs> What's that? Are you feeling stress right now? Stress? Before the performance? No, just a little something right here. I'm like Iron Man. I got this little oh. thing going right here. Okay. Does it like? Are you okay feeling that? Yeah. Yes. Can you manage it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Do you use special techniques to manage it? Absolutely. Whoopsie. Just drink a few beers and then you're ready for the show. Oh, come on. This is not <laughs> your uh, tool for sure. I do not. No, I do no. Not drink. But no, if you don't, like, do you have some, like, routines or, like, do you calm yourself down or, or not? Oh, how, how do I yes. calm myself? You know, um, actually, I just enjoy talking with people. Oh, that's a great thing. You I know, agree. Yes. And, just, uh, and sharing. I just was downstairs sharing with all these wonderful people, hearing their stories. Mm -hmm. And it just takes your mind off of, you know, the show that's about to happen. Exactly. A little now distraction, that right? Me about the show that's about to happen. <laughs> you started. <laughs> yes, I, I know. Play a drunk guy and I got to figure out how to be drunk, and I've never been a drunk, so this yes. is going to be interesting. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. About you, Gigi, what can you tell us? Yes. I am ready to be my character, okay. to be the independent, a bit arrogant uh, lady, mm -hmm. to uh, not show too much emotion, but to have my secret within myself. Nice, Ooh. good. And in the end, all will be well, but uh, I will have made my point. That's good. That's important to have your point. Yes. <laughs> All right, I don't even know where I am right now. I'm just exploring this uh, theater, and I think this is the dining area or something like that. But no one's here, so I can feel free and record something. Okay, so basically all of those tips were more like a zoomed out, more big, more general notes, right? More general ideas. And I think it's super important to to have a micromanaging and macromanaging. So make sure that you know big, big reasons that you prepared and all of that. But as well, in the day of the performance, of course, everybody has their own way of switching their mind off of this nervousness, of this stressing or whatever you feel here in your stomach. So basically when we stress, we just thinking, 
destructively, right? We worry about the future. Our goal is to realize that all of those thoughts are just draw like it's the body trying to protect me and try to make me not do anything but uh, this is not going to happen i'm going to do it and you accepting your stress and you starting to switch your mind from thinking destructively to toward thinking constructively right so worry is just excessive negative thinking and we have to try to put our mind into more positives. Confidence is building your success, building your successful action, build on your yeah like previous success, right? So you'll definitely have to have a mental picture of successful way of dancing your routine, dancing your uh, dances, right? So always go back, make sure that you're running through the successful way, the right way, the best way you can do instead of over and over thinking about the making mistake. Be in this moment, experience that. Another thing I always keep hearing is that a lot of uh, students saying that they did not even notice the performance, that it was like this. And yes, that's true. That's why the process of preparation is so crucial, right? The event is going to happen in the two minutes and that's it, it will be over. But the process is what is important. Hmm. Just dance. Da, 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 da. Okay, what do we have here? Anything good? Anything good? Uh, I'll go with the water. And some tangerine. Can I film you for a couple of seconds uh -huh. for my YouTube channel? Huh? Okay. So, okay. you just don't want to see it. What's it called? I want to subscribe. Oh, yeah. It's called I've seen Ballroom it. with Alexei. I've seen it before. <laughs> I've seen it Ballroom before. Ballroom with Alexei. My name is Alexei. You should check it out. Here. I have a lot I'm, of I'm like really, tips. I'm, I'm sorry Alexei. I subscribed to you. I guess. <laughs> That's why. All right, so I have a question. Okay. So, well, basically, do you guys ever feel stressed before performance? He does. A little bit? He does. Okay, who who doesn't feel stressed? I mean, well, basically not. He does. Not really. Because, like, I've done it before. Okay. But do you remember your first times? Were you, like, stressed a little? Okay. I was a little stressed. Okay. No, he was scared. You don't? You never was? Well, I mean, I performed enough. Okay, so you see. So the key is that with the experience, it's getting easier. Like, you're yeah. not stressing out that yes. much. And but do you, do you still experience some kind of, like, excitement? Like, you know, inside. It's not overwhelming stress, but it's excitement. So All right. But do you remember first time that was stressful? Yes. What would you recommend for people who just first time going to do the performance and they stressing out? No, just know that you're not going to be see seeing anyone in particular on the stage. You're just going to be seeing like the stage with people. You're not going to be seeing their faces. Well, okay. pretend they're like storm mannequins or something like that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> like you don't know anyone in the crowd. That's right. Okay. Okay, that's a good tip. Okay, what do you do? What do you recommend? It's, like, it's fine. Whatever you do, it'll be okay in the end. What if, what if you like, let's say, made a mistake and you forgot the routine? Oh, I know this. One. Calm down. Do not make faces at all. Uh -huh. Just continue going. With yeah. It and until after. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you can complain once you're off the stage. Yeah. But when you're on the stage, do not make any faces. Make no, just okay, go right. with the flow and mm -hmm. continue. Yeah, just you recover. Have to, you have to make him think it's intentional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But okay, like you, yes. you so made a mistake. Do not yeah, make a deal like with just like acting. oh, that was supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, like, right. like acting improv. That's Perfect. true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other tips? No. No. no okay. Really. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yes. And no yeah. Thanks. My tangerine. Are you guys? Can I come in for a second? Yes. yes? Is everyone fine with that? Okay. Cool. All right, I, I have a couple questions for you. Can I film you for my YouTube channel? Yeah. Yes? All right. So just keep doing whatever you do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so one second. All my Instagram. What? 
Yeah, I have a YouTube channel too. Awesome. Yeah, so what's your what's your YouTube channel? It's, um, it's Maria and then my last name, Tikhanova, Tikhanova? Tikhanova. Uh, are you Russian? Yes. Oh, cool. Yes, I'm Ukrainian. All right. So, I just have a... Woo! Your mom. Stop. All right. So, I basically have a question. Do you... So you were experienced dancers, right? So how many years are you guys dancing? Like uh, ten. Ten? Oh my gosh! Seriously, Twelve. that's a but lot. Not all ballroom. Yeah, not okay, all ballroom. Okay, other stuff. Yeah. A lot of us started like like ballet and stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of us started ballet. Yeah, I think okay. I'm still ballet dancer. Yeah, okay. Still ballet. I'm still playing. <laughs> that's awesome. So what do you guys do with the stress? Like, do you experience that nervousness before the performance? Yeah, yeah but what's yeah. not? Not really. For competitions, I do, but not really for performances. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think like the biggest thing is just over time, you just get like numb to the feeling. Uh, okay. It's, it's it still scares me. Especially I if it's like. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Since we do it so often, it's just like it's just now a part of our new routine. So would you say that the key is experience? Like the more experience you get, the less stress you yeah. experience, right? And also, it depends. Like, being prepared. I feel like yeah, being prepared, but also I feel like it really helps if like you kind of just get prepared. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For the so when you. When you're more confident, mm -hmm. yeah. when you know your steps, when you know your like yeah. routines yeah. and stuff like and that, so, that helps. Like just with hair and everything. And I find like if you do, like before a competition, you like go to the grocery store or do something like more like normal person-y for a little mm -hmm. bit, then you like get totally. your, like, hair in your body more. Mm -hmm. And like I have like a go get go that works. That I like listen to your playlist. Like, yeah, no, it's, yeah. yeah it's, I like it. You have to have like a normal routine before you go perform. Yeah, it yeah. It distraction. Like, like, yeah. like thinking, switch like, your mind from the performance, like, do regular stuff, be like a regular human, do yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Competition, I always do like all of the things to get ready in the same steps that I do for like my school routine. Uh huh. So I kind of so you have a routine. Have okay. Body, That's like, great. What I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So for me, like before competition or before like a performance. I'm obviously nervous before I go on stage, but once I'm on stage, it disappears. Just, it, it, yeah. just, it disappears, and it's just even when I'm on the floor competing against so many people, like it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Uh, all that matters is me and my partner and dancing and being myself and dancing to the music and performing. Okay, but do you remember the time when you were freaking out? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. What? What? Like? What do you? What did you do to not be? So freaked out. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I ate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Distraction, right? Do something. Okay. 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 A lot of times, um, like if you're really nervous, I usually like talk to my partner, and I just like I feel like the partners are always really nice and they always like reassure you. Oh, I'm not like, my partner. Uh oh. Partnership helps. Yeah. Communication with the partner, good relationship with helps as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much. I'm sorry to distract you. Uh oh. Uh oh, okay. Okay. Hi, Lou. Look at here. Is the lady here tonight? Uh, yeah, she's going to be here. For okay, sure. yes. I look forward to seeing Are you all coming to dinner afterwards? Yeah. Yes. Both of you? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, oh. yes. All right, well, basically in the day of the performance, yes, do whatever you, like everybody has their own way of switching their mind off of the anxiety or stress. So whether it is meditation, relaxation is really great. Whether it is reading a book or having a conversation, talking to someone else, just like a something regular, regular life, right? Regular life thing. Yeah, go talk to someone else, go support someone else. I think the best way is to deal with the stress is go and support someone who is stressed and dealing with the same situation. And as well, people in the audience, well, first of all, as you guys heard, great advice, you will not see anyone, uh, but even though if you will see them, they not, they there to support you. You would support 
your friends, you would support people on stage same way they are. They're there to support and you're doing something amazing, something great. Here's the guys who's doing great too. <laughs> <laughs> You, no, that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> I'm done anyways. Hey! <laughs> hey guys! Hey! What's up? Yay! Right, well... And... 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 A little bit of fresh air. Just... Be proud of yourself that you're doing it, okay? You're gaining experience, you're putting yourself out of the comfort zone, you don't afraid being vulnerable, you're doing something which is benefits your health, your physical, your mental health, and isn't it great? Isn't just dancing is awesome? So just keep enjoying yourself and you're doing great, okay? So, and you're not the only one who is stressed and it's totally normal. It's totally fine, okay? All right, well, I'm gonna go and make my hair ready. <laughs> okay. Now I look like a ballroom dancer. <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> Looks like a ballroom dancer.